So who out there is excited for Crazy Red and his potentially fake artwork? I certainly am, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to unlock Crazy Red and begin your journey as an art connoisseur. I do hope you all enjoyed today's episode, and I hope you're all having a wonderful night or morning, depending on where you live. Now, I did already cover leaf and all of the bushes and hedges, uh, so definitely make sure to check out that video. I'll leave it in a comment pinned below but we do need to unlock red today now the first thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to head to blathers now blathers is obviously going to be in the museum so we get to go through our nice little museum area and um, what's going to happen after we talk to blathers is the following day so 24 hours after you talk to blathers it's going to spawn red somewhere on your island ah so he does have some good news to tell us uh, thanks to your hard work and the support of the good folks of Waffleton, the museum can now display more specimens than ever before. Thus, I'm considering adding fine works of art to this fine institution of repertoire. So, if you should find yourself in possession of a piece of art, by all means, please do show it to me. So, the process for upgrading the museum, I believe, is going to take about three days. Because you got to talk to Blathers, then 24 hours later, Red spawns, and then you can donate to Blathers on that day. So, maybe two days? Because then he's going to build the museum the next day. So, I think it's going to take a total of two days. Oh, snap. He's right here at the residence center. He almost spooked me because I didn't anticipate him being right there. Um... But this is Crazy Red. He works in sales, and I am Sir Waffle. What a great name. Intelligent. Strong. I can already tell we're gonna be pals. Not pals, but family. He's trying to sweeten us up to steal all of our money and give us fake artwork. Don't trust Red. Now, I hope you don't mind me being forward, but you look to me as someone who's got an eye for art. Now, don't be shocked. I've got a keen instinct for these things. And speaking of instinct, I just had this feeling, so I brought an academic painting with me. Okay. Yeah, I know. What a crazy coincidence. It's like fate or something. Well, I want to sell to you and only you, because you're family, and you're going to get a giveaway price. How about 49... For what? 498,000 bells. Um, excuse me, sir, but that is not going to happen. I say no. Okay, so both options are no. So I, I say no, good sir. Come on now. You're never going to find a better price than... But that was fate talking, right? Reminded me your family. I mean, you're practically my cousin. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you my family exclusive patent pending cousins discount. For only 4,980 bells, you'll be able to proud owner of your very own academic painting. Sounds like a deal to me. Wait. That's crazy, no? Um, I don't know if it can go lower, but we're just going to purchase it for less than 5,000 bells, because that sounds like a good enough deal for me today, especially to see what we got. Now give me that sweet painting, you rascally little fox, you. Or is it a fox? I don't even know. So let's see what we got. Um, if we open up our inventory, it's gone. All right, let's pop this painting out here and see what we got. Oh, interesting. Now, the question is, is this actually the real painting or is it fake? Because Red will give you fake paintings, ladies and gentlemen. Fake drawings, fake everything. Let me see if we can see any discrepancies here. So I do believe, ladies and gentlemen, that Red has tried to sell us or has successfully sold us a fake piece of art. If you look very closely at the middle of this piece of art, the feet are all sorts of jacked up. It is 100% faked. The feet are supposed to be mirrored, and uh, I don't know what to do about this. So we're going to take it to Blathers and see what Blathers has to say about it. You definitely got to watch out for that sneaky cousin discount. Tell you what. So let's see what good old Blathers has to say about this fake piece of art. I wonder if he's going to have us try and guess if it is or not. Give him the academic painting. I say hoot! That is a most surely an academic painting. I never thought I'd lay eyes upon the real thing, but there it is, very much an epic academic painting. Now, if you were to donate this, your generosity would enable us to add an art exhibit to our beloved museum. Would say, I mean, it's fake, so I'm 100% gonna donate it to you. I mean, what could go wrong, right? 
<laughs> We're gonna keep the real ones in our house. <laughs> we'll now be able to apply for an expansion to the museum. So much to do, I must prepare for the construction immediately. A thousand thanks indeed. So most likely what's going to happen is tomorrow the museum is going to be closed down and then the next day it's going to be open. So it is going to in fact be three days. Ah, uh, look how excited Isabel is for our expanded museum. I'm just as excited to be quite frank with you. So the museum is closed for remodeling today, but the inconvenience will be worth it, I'm sure. I do want to find out if Red will be on his trawler today, though. Well, no Red today. I didn't think he would be here, though. Oh, Isabel knows about the fake art. <laughs> oh god, Isabel knows about the fake artwork. Does she know that the one we donated was fake, though? Okay, so no, she just mentioned it. But I think it's gonna it's a really cool mechanic to have to search for the legitimate artwork. And I wonder if Blathers ever notices. Like if you could give him all the fakes and just keep the real ones for yourself and hoard them like some kind of art miser. Oh, you know what? We get to hold a ceremony for opening the new museum. I am actually genuinely excited about this particular one. Here we go. Now then. I'd like to begin our special ceremony celebrating the grand opening of our fancy new museum. It's beautiful! Look at it! As I'm sure you've all noticed, Wolfelden has gone through marvelous, wondrous changes. It's all thanks to the fine residents of this island who work together daily. Yes, yes, you have my thanks. And he has all of our riches. I'd like to ask Blathers to say a few words as the representative from our newly remodeled museum. Blathers! Are you going to blab? Or are you just going to have like one nice sentence for us? Hoot indeed, I shall keep this brief. Mm -hmm. Dearest residents of Waffleton, it is an honor and a pleasure to take this moment to thank you for all your continued support of the museum. Your diligent efforts have turned this museum into the grand, nay, the magnificent attraction it is today. So many fish, so many fossils. So many insects. Oh, God. I love scaring blathers with insects. Indeed, all who set foot, hoof, or paw in this museum have youth to thank for the splendors they behold. And now we have an open and new edition, one I have dreamt of since I was but an owlet. Yes, a proper art gallery full of fake art courtesy of Sir Waffle. <laughs> By Jove, my cultural and curatorial dreams have come true. Hoot hoot and hooray. I beg your pardon, my enthusiasm has me running at the beak once again. To the point- Oh my god, Blathers! I had to calm down for a second. As we celebrate this new wing of the museum, I feel I must entreat you. Please continue to donate your acquisitions. I ask this not just for the betterment of the museum, but for the betterment of us all. Whew, and thank you. Thank god. Blathers. You magnificent owl. Oh, he fell asleep. <laughs> That's fantastic. Next, a few words from someone who has valuable contributions. It's going to be me, isn't it? Yes, it's going to be me. Um, woohoo! It's party time! Let's get some fake art, baby! Alright. So, I just really want to do a tour of the new area of the museum, and then we got to see if we could find Red's trawler. Oh, we're going to do something. Ah, yes, the party popper of doom. Hope for continued growth and to celebrate Waffleton's beautiful museum. Hooray! It's beautiful! I didn't get to take a photo because I am terrible, apparently. <laughs> oh, snap. What's Red doing here but not in his trawler? Interesting. I'd know that shining face anywhere. How you been, Sir Waffle? You made the right choice buying that art. I did not. It was fake, dude. I've had a lot of folks asking about it. And you know, I really gotta be honest, I think I'm followed for Waffleton. I mean, you've got quite a setup going here, and a lot of art fans. So Waffleton wants art, and I got art to sell. Might be something to this, but I couldn't sell you just anybody. Uh, I'd need someone I could trust completely, as if they were family. And since we're basically cousins, and because I know you've got an eye for quality, I want it to be you. Wanna look at a few things? I've got both art and furniture. Plus, you'd get my cousin's discount. You in? All right, so it looks like it's going to take a little bit to unlock the trawler. He probably needs more money, but let's see what he's got going on here. I've got my boat anchored off the northern shore, and I'm almost done fixing all the leaks. Never mind, it's there. <laughs> so let's just go check that out, shall we? This thing is quite the rust bucket, isn't it? 
Uh, <laughs> but I am excited to see what he's got in stock for us. I'm hoping for some really nice artwork or some, like, like statues and stuff like that. What are you most looking forward to from this trawler here? Are you looking forward to the artwork or the statues? Or sculptures, or whatever you want to call them. The moment of truth has arrived. Oh, we've got good artwork. Super good artwork. So here's the pitch. Ready? At Jolly Red's treasure trawler, you see only the finest. And there's nothing finer than fine art and rare furniture, am I right? Of course, I can't let all those fine things just walk out the door. I gotta limit you to one piece of art per day. Oh, God. Just one? Oh, no. It makes me so sad. I had to punch my microphone for it. We do, however, get to buy all the furniture we want, no questions asked. That's pretty cool. Let's take a look around and see what we got going on up in here. And let him know if we have any questions. Now, what do we got? We got, ooh, a different type of garbage can. And, uh, is that like a cute... What is this? The charm and elegance of the very finest rice milk wrapped into a cute tea table. Interesting. Hmm. I don't want that. But there is another fake of this particular art piece there, but I think I want this one right here. I won't lie, an awful lot of folks have been asking about the twinkling painting there, but maybe the price scared them off. So I'll sell it to you for 4,980 bells again. Are they all going to be that price? Hmm. Oh, you can actually get a closer look um, before you purchase them, which is great for trying to find out if it's fake or not. So I'm going to bring in my art expert, Ashley, and she's going to tell me if this is real or fake. Am I staring at it? Yeah. I don't get to inspect it, like, up close and personal or anything? That's as close as we can get. That's horrible. Um, the colors are a little too muted for my liking, but it is the right size and shape. I'm going to say that one's real. I'm going to have to agree with that assessment because it looks... As close as I can remember to the real thing, um, so we're gonna we're gonna purchase this bad boy and uh, and see what good old Blathers thinks about it. It's extremely detailed, brilliant stuff. It's probably fake. There's probably like one part of it that's not real. Oh, uh, you know that's actually kind of unfortunate that he has to pack it up and get it shipped out tomorrow. So that means we won't even be able to take it with us right now. That makes me a sad panda. But you know what? Let's grab this here. Dumpster Maboober, the garbage bin, just because it looks different than what we have already. It was definitely good to know that Red isn't going to be there every day, so it can theoretically take a very long time to acquire all of the artwork, especially considering you can only pick up one a day when he is there. So that's a little disappointing, but at the same time, I'm not too upset about it. Uh, but we do have our twinkling painting here now. And I would like to display that for all of you to gander upon with your eyes. Because it is beautiful! I love it so much! I can't wait to see what people do with all of this new stuff in the game. And I mean, this is only, what, like a month after the game's release? I can't wait to see what the rest of the year still holds for us. So we're going to donate this twinkling painting here and see what happens. And then we're going to do the full tour of the new section of the museum, which I am particularly excited about. And the genuine article, no less. Oh, ho, ho, ho. yes, it is. Indubitably, it is even more magnificent than I imagined. I shall treat this donation with the utmost care. Owl's honor. I shall also leave details about your donation for all to read once it's on display. Very nice. Oh, the music in here is amazing! I turned up the game audio so that you guys could hear it a little bit better. So here is our first artwork, and we got Mousy McMouse Face just staring at it. So, Twinkling Painting, April 27th, 2020, donated by Sir Waffle, The Starry Knight, Vincent Van Gogh, 1889, Oil on Canvas. Van Gogh's signature piece, painted while he was hospitalized at an asylum. This view from his room includes memories and imaginations. In letters to friends, the artist called it a failure. Interesting. I love that additional information. There is so much room in this museum. Oh my god. There are so many things to get. That's so exciting. I can't wait to fill this up. Now, I'm not going to time travel to fill all this stuff up. Although, if you guys do want me to do live streams of collecting art and stuff, we could consider doing that. Uh, but definitely on the other island, I want to take my time with all of this. For some reason, I thought there was an additional room to this. But, like, um, 
but I guess there wasn't. So this is the academic painting, April 24th, 2020. I guess this was the real real one. Vitruvian Man, Leonardo da Vinci, circa 1487. Pen and ink on paper. This drawing is based on the ideal human body ratio, as stated in De Architectura. I just butchered that. Uh... <laughs> I'm just laughing at myself now. That was the real one? Really? I can't believe that I thought that artwork was fake. I guess I was thinking that the left foot was supposed to be pointing in the other direction, but lo and behold, it was, in fact, the real thing. I feel super dumb thinking it was fake now, and I'm sure plenty of people have made fun of me in the comments below, but I do hope you all enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, make sure to hit that like button. I'll see you all in the next one.